What's up guys, it's your man Corey Clips and today we're here with another YouTube tutorial. I know I've been going for a while, but I had to let those crea creative ideas flow, but now we're on the go. I'm here with my man Josh and today's tutorial I will be showing you all how I do a mid fade with the C cup. And as I always say, yeah I thought I was about to say Corey Clips, right? nah, with that being said, let's get into it. my mic picking up all right guys so as you can see i'm combing down the hair um he did say like more towards that where you see that bulk at he wanted to keep it a little darker um so what i have on is my two guard all the way open and because he had his hair done it was i'm not gonna say it was hard but i just have to be careful not to like you know cut into the braid uh so what i'll do was i would slowly like like scoop out so I could cut some of that bulk down and like I said I do have my two guard all the way open so once I start to fade then that's when you'll start to see that transition like from that dark to light and right now like I said what I'm just doing is knocking down the bulk before I go up in there like say with my one and a half guard and since he he wants to keep his C cup I do like a little bit below the eyebrow. Like I said, my eyebrow has always been my guide point. But as you can say, I said say C. As you can see, I'm kind of curving it just a little bit, uh, just so I can say I can keep it low. Uh, the top part, uh, like I always say, whenever you're doing a fade, as long as you have that vision of it in your head, you can um, bring it into fruition. So. Me, when I do my fades, I try to follow the uh, natural head shape, depending on the fade I'm doing. Uh, some people like to have that drop, some like to just have it go all the way around, even all the way around. Uh, but in this case, since I'm doing a mid fade, uh, I do start low. Like, so say, if I'm doing a mid fade, I start lower. If I'm doing a high fade, I start around the area. I would do my mid fade, like God, God point wise, or God line wise. And also, since I do, like I said, an inch space and he wants to keep it darker up top, I just want to give myself that uh, room for that error. So say if I was to mess up now, nah, okay, I can fix it and I'm still keeping his cut dark without having to bring it up higher and making it lighter, you know? Sometimes I just be wondering, what do I be doing in like these, those little moments? All right, so as I always do, my two-thirds technique, uh, I did use the wall magic clips to debulk, but I have my uh, wall seniors. And pretty sure, let me see. As you can see, I'm just following that curve. Like I said, it's, think of it like whatever shape you're doing you can always blend into it and that's how the fade that's how the shape of the fade is going to be but it's going to be blended though so i'm following his natural curve because if you see at the top uh, part of his head how his braids is it naturally drops down a little bit towards that back area so that's the only option i have is to follow that same that same thing i can't try to create the uh, fade all the way around even because his braids aren't even all the way around, if that makes sense, you know? Especially more towards that top part, it like, it, it drops a little bit. So the same steps as always, for that bottom line, I will close the lever all the way. And as you can see, I'm just gradually flicking out. I'm not going too, too high up. Uh, I'll say since I do about an inch, I probably go about midway or just a little bit under midway. It's like at this point, I should just start like putting like not even voiceovers, like just text in the in the, uh, in the videos for all my people who's been watching me. But I gotta keep going for the new people, the new subscribers. And so after I do that um, bottom line with the lever all the way closed, like I say, my middle line. Think of it like this, okay. The middle, the midline is always the easiest because you can always think of, okay, midline, I can put my lever midway, you know? So that's just a little little thing you could keep in mind. 
um, bottom line lever closed all the way, you know, because you want to knock out that bottom line. And when I'm knocking out my midline, I do use the corner of my blades because I do not want to create a whole new guideline. So instead, like I said, I'll play in that mid, mid area just a little bit, you know, um, to my liking. Like I said, y'all get it good because y'all get to hear the music. I don't when I'm recording it. So it's just like those moments where I'm silent. It's just uh. so I have my one guard all the way open. And like I said, in, in some cuts, I will do like my two thirds technique. But in this case, I'm not uh, just because, like I said, he wants to keep it darker. So I'm going to actually do every guideline. I'm using my lever all the way open. And I'm just using the corner, like when I start to get around the edge of like that arc, I start to use the corner of my blade, uh, just because I want to be able to have a precise like guideline. I don't want to like use the middle of my blades and then say for example, I accidentally go, accidentally go up too high. It's like now I still can fix it, but I have to bring the fade higher than what I what I intended to. I feel like I've been going for a while. Maybe I have, but that's okay, cause I'm back. I'm back in my bed. All right, so next I have my one and a half, not so one and a half, my half guard, all the lever all the way open. As you can see, I'm just gradually flicking out, not going in too crazy. And you can already see that it's starting to soften, soften up that guideline. line. And honestly, say if you're new to barbering, if you don't really have like a a good standpoint or you're kind of like still having that uh, misunderstanding, uh, see, just think of it like this. You're working your way down. So we all can count down, you know. So from three, it goes down to two. And then from two, it goes down to one. Or guard-wise, it'll be from two to one and a half, then one and a half to one, then one to half, you know. And then there's your no guards at all. Uh, but same steps, like I said, at that bottom line, I'm doing my half guard all the way closed, and I'm just bringing, bringing it up, bringing it up just a little bit. I'm talking too fast. I'm not going up too high because I still want that uh, to see that gradual transition. And when I get to my midline, uh, I said the lever midway open. And also you'll learn like when it comes to different hair textures, you will have to like, I'll say cut accordingly because you can still use your same techniques or your same steps, but there's a lot that can play factors into your uh, your fades. It could be the uh, the pattern of the, uh, the person uh, or the hair texture, uh, the hair texture in general. Um, say they can have calyx or whorls, stuff you'll learn about, say whether you go to barber school or not, but you, you'll still learn it. Um, so that's one thing I can tell you is that when it comes to fading, don't be so hard on yourself because not every fade is going to turn out the same, you know. That's why I say you have to cut accordingly. And um, once you kind of like get a little comfortable with that, then you'll, you'll be more comfortable cutting any texture hair. And I had to learn that myself because when I came across certain clients, I'd be like, I was hard on myself, especially especially when I first started cutting. I was like, man, like this fade ain't turning out like this fade. And so certain fades I didn't want to pose because they didn't look how I expected it to. But I had to learn, like, even though you still cut the hair the same way, it's just, you know, it's more that plays into it. So as you can see, I have my two guard, right? And like I said, I'm just softening that line. And now, like because before, since I used the walls, it, I mean, it's the same clipper almost, almost, but I was kind of going a little fast. But now, as you can see, I'm starting to scoop out, like flick out the hair. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing it is slow is because, like I said, I don't want to cut into the braid. Like I have this big guard on, but still, he just got his hair done, so. 
no matter uh awkward position you know the things i do for y'all to try to get this content out for y'all i'm fine all love to y'all honestly uh and now i'm just i need i have the two guard on still but now i have the guard or the lever all the way closed and instead of me going all the way up like flicking out now i'm staying under that because that top line i'll be able to hit it with the um the thinning shears or blending shears whatever they're called i just know how to use the tools and as you see like i said it's kind of like that rainbow effect it's like curved you know and honestly on the other side of his head well y'all see i'll explain to y'all in a minute so i have my one and a half guard all the way open right uh once i start to get uh towards the back of his head you will learn this uh, with most clients the back of the head is normally the darker area of the head and the closer towards the front is the lighter area so say like all right i'm using my one and a half all the way open right well when i get closer towards the back i'll have to close it just a little bit just to still even it out with the rest of the fade and that's something i have to learn because i used to always be like why is my like my back of my head still so dark it'll look blended next as you can see i have my same still one and a half guard but now the guard is closed and i'm just staying up under that line so all this is doing is softening it so when i come in with my one guard one guard open it's just like a little detail work like it's i'm still cutting but it's not like i'm going all the way into the fade just a little bit but i'm staying at that line and as you can see like i said you can see like towards that back area right like even though i'm doing the same steps it's still dark so like i said that's because even though i have my one and a half guard on like with this i can go all the way up there i can go all the way up with my one and a half closed since that area that bone is back there but that'll be a little play with the um one guard so now i have my one guard all the way open and you'll see how i do it right so it's like a flicking motion because i'm trying to stay off the head well, like, it, of course, it's cutting, but I'm trying not to dig into it. It's like I'm trying to scoop out. So I'm cutting the hair without creating a whole new line. And as you can see, it's starting to knock that line out. It's softening or smoothing it out. I won't say soften it because I soften it with the one and a half closed. But more towards that back area. Now that... I said now that I can go up a little higher with my one guard now it's almost like I'm cutting into it uh, because like I said I have to even it out look the sun started to come out it was that golden hour golden hour and with that one guard, I'll have to close it a little bit more. Like I said, cause it's just, the back of the head has always been like that. Um, honestly, any barber you come across, a, a, not even prob probably, they will tell you the same thing. Um, it's just that bone back there. I don't want to say the wrong bone, you know. Um, I didn't take anatomy. <laughs> so I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, it's this. But it is the bone in the back of our head, just the shape of it that causes that effect to where it makes the, the hair just look darker. And uh, like I said, when I first started cutting hair, that used to throw me off a little bit. But once I learned, okay, I, I will have to cut into it. Like I can't be afraid to, then that's when I was able to like start like getting my fades even all the way around. So it's the same thing. Um, oh, 
Same thing, lever all the way open. And this is what I was about to say. So on this side, it's like I did the same thing, right? But I don't know why. It's just like certain parts of the head are cut. Even though you could be doing the same exact thing, the same steps, the same guard all the way open. Um, some parts of the head will be a little lighter than others. Uh, more towards the front, like I said, it is lighter. But in this case, I kind of did have to... Um, and kind of I had to even it out on that other side because the other side of his head was just a little bit darker than this side and so like I said I can't have like one side of my face inconsistent versus the other side time for a change time for a change time for a change Hey y'all, it's Corey Clips, and today we're here on the Smooth Radio Station 107.5. Pack y'all bags, cause we're about to give y'all the new ride. Today is the man's B day, G day, return day. I was supposed to post my flicks, but you know things happen a little differently. My bad, y'all. And inner thoughts be coming out sometimes. Sometimes they're intrusive thoughts, but that wasn't nothing intrusive about those. All right, so y'all about the great scene. When I grab that one guard, start up in the back. I'm loving it. Yeah. I don't eat McDonald's, by the way. Y'all should stay away from that stuff. This stuff is horrible. Horrible for you. I said, me, I'm, I try to be a perfectionist. I, I take pride in my work. I really do. So, so what I when when I when I'm working on something, it's like you know, I, music will be in the background but for me it's just like I'm just sitting here just like man what am I supposed to be talking about during this whole time because I don't explain pretty like I said I always say what you doing one side you're doing the other so I should start doing like something well I know what I'll start doing I'll start having y'all ask questions and when it comes to these points I can answer y'all questions I think that'll be pretty cool it will Do, 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 do. Big frog. No, I'm back and I'm better. A different type of man. You play with that a little bit. So, as I, well, you probably can't see it that good yet, but let's start. Um, I think it's once I go up there with my two guard, I believe. It's gonna start to look a little lighter. But one thing I can say, it's not really that you're making a mistake, but I remember one of my um, instructors used to tell me, if you were to, as a barber on your own canvas, you have to know how to fix it, you know? So, so like, if you do mess up, now, if it's like you just jacked up, like, really bad, then, you know, just, you know, calm down, relax, but, and at that point, you really do have to just explain to the client, but 
say if you like I said if you was able to make a mistake to where it's kind of like okay I, I can fix this that's why I always tell y'all like start a little lower um some barbers like I said they they'll start exactly like they're doing a high fade they're starting up high and uh, me personally that doesn't work for me because if I was to make a mistake I know okay I have that leeway room now I can go up a little higher so it always worked out for me Ooh, man. Lord, that's too many people. Lord, I mess no more. <laughs> that's too many people. I need to get off the line. Lord, have mercy on my soul. That's too many people. trying to create a thumbnail for this but the way I did the cut is kind of like well it's not uneven it's just y'all see no I'm gonna still post that thumbnail I will but we ain't putting no nothing to catch our attention like, oh my gosh I almost pushed his ass back yeah I got a story to tell y'all that's what my next video will do I'm gonna do like a story time on like the time I messed up on my on certain clients Oh my god. I wish I would have taken pictures of those too. I would have been some crazy <laughs> I would have been some crazy stuff. But I'm gonna tell you my story. Cause y'all know it's crazy. Y'all like some of the people that like the, the people that are really good at what they do, they have some of the most craziest stories and y'all wouldn't believe it because you'd be like, damn, bro, he's so good or she's so good. But the whole time, like y'all have to realize we were we're in I wouldn't even say y'all shoes, we were at where y'all were at when we were first starting too and i'm still learning so i'm not gonna sit and just say like oh yeah i'm just no i'm good at what i do but there's always room for improvement every day every day there is wise word from the bird from the lord jesus all right, so as y'all can see, like I said, it kind of, I had a little bit more darkness or bulk to work with on my other side, but like I said, I, it was either something I had did or it's just the way I was cutting. I really couldn't say. The fade still came out. I, I was able to even it out though. I just had to like, back on the right side, I had to um, just bring it up a little higher. That was it. That was all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll cry if I didn't have this mic on. That would be tragic. Might keep fluctuating. I want is it like do y'all hear my y'all might hear my breathing for real. For real, for real. Oh Lord, that's too many people. That's too many people. Let's see. About to be me as I see truthfully. Dun, 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 dun. You've been on my mind for the long time, not the right time. I had to get it on the right side, you know. It took some time for me to learn, but I'm finally here. I'm finally here. Oh man, 
<laughs> oh y'all, I got a. Oh, I just got an idea. Y'all didn't know this, but y'all will know this now. Corey with the eye. Remember it, never lie. Sacrifice. It took some time to get here, but I never die. Whatever, don't kill me, just make me stronger. You best believe I'm gonna last much longer. Oh man, man. I'm finna go back and listen to this, cuz. I'm dropping some bars for the people. God, God wanna how to be your wife. Alright, my man. Alright, okay, okay. I see that how this is about to go. So you can see how like it's a little lighter towards the edge, right? But it's still like dark as to where I can line it up. It's just like on my other side, it was just much darker. So I think that's mainly where I had to try to I had to line it up on the other side. Cause you know, you know me. All right, so now we're on the edge. And like I said, it doesn't matter where you start, but for me, I always start in the middle uh, just to break it in. And that way I can line up across. Um, I did do the right side, but since you're watching the video, it look like the left side, but it is. Um, well, no, it is the left, I'm tripping. Lord, have mercy on my soul. I'm just thinking of from like when I'm behind the chair. That's my bad, my bad. Um, so as you can see, I cut across the left side. I did the right side too, but not on this because it's just my, I'm still trying to figure out the camera settings uh, with the, the light in the background makes it really bright. And since he did want the C cup, normally I don't do C cups. Uh, not because it's just not, I don't do them. It's just like most of my clients, they don't really care for the C cup no more. So it's been kind of been like my style to do my mid fades with just the line. I've been perfecting that. Uh, but with the C cups, uh, I kind of use that corner of my blade to start that first line. It's like a L at first. And then I start from the bottom and curve it. And then I go back up to the top and curve it back down to like knock off the, uh, to, excuse me, excuse me, to make my line a little bit more round. As you can see, it looks perfect. But look at that. Yeah, my man braids look a little crazy. That's because I had the clips in his head. But he didn't want no enhancements, you know, so I kept it natural. But I hope this video was very informational, informal for y'all. I said informational, informal. And hit that like and subscribe button. And as I always say, Corey Clips, are you in good hands?